Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at will you and your person cross paths again? There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the stitch tight, along with this group of cards. Group two is the pyrite, along with this group of cards. And group three is the Chalcedony, along with this group of cards. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you would like to jump ahead, which I do recommend using so that you can skip over me shuffling cards in between groups to clear the energy of the group I've just read for and tap into the energy of the group I'm about to read for. So again, I'll give you a minute, please use the timestamps and then we will get into the reading. Hi group one, you chose the stitch tight along with these cards which I will start with to get a feel for will you and your person cross paths again. So we have the ace of wands, four of pentacles, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords, Healing Journey, Purification, and Blue, Depressed, Isolated, Help.
So with the Nine of Swords, this does look like somebody who has been thinking about whatever has put you both at a distance um, up to this point, maybe words that were spoken um, or a resistance that this person had had, um, and kind of the, the mind space, the mental space, being able to really envision a future with you um, or some obstacles that you might have come across um, in the past together and this person not really seeing a way through that, not really being willing or able to compromise, being very fixed in their opinion about things, very rigid in their stance and that this could have led to kind of the the, the dissolution the decay of the relationship um, it's something that in the separation in this and in the silence again with this nine of swords this card of uh, anxiety and nightmares it's something that um, has really been plaguing this person something that they're thinking back a lot about um, filled with kind of a sense of regret over what was said or words that were not spoken with all of these swords kind of hanging on the wall here behind this bed, this definitely feels like truths which were withheld. Um, so maybe an opportunity that this person had had, um, that they had been presented with, a cup of love you had offered to them, um, or if this is somebody that you were friends with, but there was kind of this, this palpable and tangible um, energy of something more between the both of you, and this person could have really held back on speaking that truth, on taking that chance, um, stepping forward in some capacity. Um, and so these thoughts, these words still linger with them in their mind, in their heart. Um, kind of a lot of these what ifs, these woulda, coulda, shouldas. Um, if only they had done things differently, they may find themselves not in this position of, of being alone, being in this very solitary energy, um, but there would be almost this, this space um, within their life that could be filled by the beauty of this love, by this connection, this closeness. This feels like somebody also um, with this image of, you know, this kind of like single person bed here. There's not a lot of room for another person in there. Um, and so this could be somebody who has really, through a decision that they made in the past to walk away from this connection or to not act upon this connection, um, they've kind of shrunken down the possibility um, for themselves in terms of companionship. Um, maybe not really meeting or, or finding anyone else that is compatible with them in a way that they would want to really open up their life, um, that they would they would feel that sense of closeness, that sense of companionship with. Um, this is somebody who's kind of just just all alone, um, and a choice that was made to walk away or or to not act upon their feelings in the past. There's almost a sense of that really having um, served to limit this person in some capacity, and it's not a good feeling. Um, so somebody who's most likely been ruminating about this for a while, or is maybe getting some kind of reminders, maybe dreaming about you a lot, some kind of um, epiphany or awareness that is happening some kind of a connection that is happening between the both of you, also in kind of the dream sense in the astral realm where, you know, the two of you are meeting from this kind of higher self level, kind of these scenarios playing out um, in that sort of liminal space that is then leading to this person, you know, filled with the sense of regret when they're waking up and, and finding, you know, really recognizing the distance between those dreams and reality. Um, Ace of Wands is really talking about this passion and this attraction that they have for you that has not diminished over time despite the distance that now exists between the both of you and some kind of a no contact or a separation um, you know there's this person here again kind of in this very um, lone state even if they are um, in a relationship with somebody else this really feels that you know they they don't feel that deep soul connection it's really lacking for this person they almost feel like um, they're very much an island unto themselves even if they have, you know, other people around them or they're seeing somebody else, they're in some kind of another relationship. Um, there's a part of this person that feels very isolated, as we see here with this, um, on this card of blue, this person holding in um, kind of a lot of deep sorrow and regret over what has happened, kind of that, again, that missed opportunity from speaking that truth and, and really taking that connection, that tangible energy between the both of you to this next level. Um, you know, this person also really looking at that that, paying attention to that, um, this attraction that they have for you, this this urge that they still feel towards you, maybe even after a lot of time has passed, you both have kind of moved in opposite directions. Um, you know, again, with this kind of lone figure and then on this other um, kind of space here, there's, you know, there's, there's nobody else. There's no, you know, the distance between you is so vast at this point in time that, that reaching out might be, um, 
not as practical as it once was. You might have moved, you could have changed your contact information, you might not have social media. In some way you're not as accessible to this person as you once might have been. So there's this sense of being very stranded and alone with these feelings, um, only able to really focus on these things but not really seeing a way forward, um, not really recognizing how any movement they might make would make a difference, understanding that they can't reach you in the same capacity that they once did. Um, if this is something where you know your contact information is still the same, you haven't moved, you know, you're know you you're still very much in a position where this person could find you if they wanted to, um, there is this sense of distance, this sense of gap where they're not really sure um, what they could effectively provide to you or say at this point in time. Maybe a lot of time has passed since that missed opportunity or that decision to kind of move away from the connection and they're not really sure what they have of substance and value to offer um, that could really help to propel this situation forward with both the sun on this card, this Ace of Wands, and then also this um, sunflower here. This is a very joyous energy. Um, this person feels very um, hopeful and very uh, enlivened when they think about you, when they tap into your energy. Um, there's a sense of a bond that still exists between the both of you that is really a source of sustenance for this person. Um, this is also somebody who is trying to work past these blocks and these fears um, about whatever distance might now exist between the both of you. Um, um, even a lot that must be done in order to kind of cross that to, you know, gain some more um, trust from you to, you know, take that first step and then continue to build upon that in a productive and constructive way in order to reestablish some kind of footing with you, um, kind of put you both on, on equal territory and to move forward in some way. Um, this is somebody who's stepping into that space of courage, who, who's really harnessing that solar plexus energy. Um, this does feel like a gradual process. It feels very much um, still like a work in progress, like it's it's a little bit out of reach. There's more within this person that they need to face in terms of, you know, these these fears and, and this sense of regret over what was words that were spoken or that were um, that were not spoken when they had the chance. Um, so they're still kind of hovering in that sense of hopelessness, um, but really opening themselves up and, and surrendering to that feeling of, of wanting to experience something more, at least internally, they're they're really acknowledging this um, this very empowered and powerful feeling that they have for you, um, and they could also be working through some solar plexus chakra um, kind of blocks in other areas of their life in terms of the way that they are assertive in other aspects, that they speak their truth to others, um, the ways in which they have kind of constructed a life for themselves and how that aligns with them, maybe what they are doing professionally, um, the people that they surround themselves with, kind of the role that this person is playing versus you know, really allowing that authentic self to be um, expressed and to really shine through. So as this person is doing kind of this other work in other aspects of their life, this seems to be kind of those seeds of change. Um, with this image here kind of of these, these falling leaves, this really indicates that a lot of things are starting to um, sort of be discarded from this person energetically. Some energetic blocks are starting to lift. Um, this can also be some kind of mindset or rigidity um, in, in terms of belief systems or ideas that might have been kind of a wedge or barrier between you in the past that is really in this process of, of being relinquished by this person. They're freeing themselves from that, um, kind of in this, in this state of purging even. Um, so that as that activation takes place, um, that center of courage, that center of, of empowerment becomes stronger, becomes more brilliant um, than this person is able to, in other ways in their life, move away from that energy of not feeling good enough, not feeling confident, operating from an energy of fear rather than trust. With the Four of Pentacles here, and usually this is a card of being very guarded. In typical um, tarot decks, like the Rider Waite deck, for example, it will show a figure, you know, with the pentacle on on the crown of his of his head, and there's usually two at his feet, and then he's clutching something to his chest. But in this particular deck, it is showing this as this treasure, this bounty um, that can almost represent this person's material world, or again, these very um, profound truths, um, some kind of authenticity 
the way they really feel as a contrast to whatever was displayed to you or withheld. And in this imagery here, we see this figure with this key kind of unlocking this chest. And then he's got this, this little sack here where presumably then he, you know, that lid is lifted. Some of that treasure is taken out, um, put into the bag, and then you know, forward movement happens in some way. Um, you know, maybe those those coins, that treasure, those those facts are are distributed or dispersed. Um, maybe this is something to where, as um, you know, other situations are being moved on from other chapters in this person's life are coming to a close. They're only taking kind of the wisdom, um, the core truth with with them as they set forth on a new adventure. Um, but so again, in this particular deck, this can really speak to again this this sort of shift in what was held back, what was reserved by this person in the past is being tapped into. In some way they are accessing this. They're stepping into that place of empowerment within themselves um, to really kind of harness that reality, the truth of their feelings, and to plan how that can really help to change um, the circumstances between the both of you, the circumstances in their life in general. Um, so movement on many levels happening in this person's life, it seems, or kind of the, the preparations, the planning stages of that. Somebody who also may be kind of um, unlocking this treasure trove of truth within themselves to kind of take inventory of that, take stock of that, see what they have, what they, you know, what's available to them, um, how far will these resources take them, um, what is necessary, what do they have to work with? How can they use this to their advantage um, in creating some kind of a measurable change in this situation and in their life? With the Page of Swords, this can really be the energy of somebody who is watching, watching from afar, maybe watching you on social media, trying to um, kind of gauge what you have going on in your life. Somebody who is, you know, very impressed with the ways in which you have really kind of move forward as much as possible, um, despite whatever happened with this person, the ways in which you have kind of picked yourself back up. Um, you've stepped into that authentic truth in your own right and how you're really expressing that out. This is somebody who's also seeing you from a new perspective. Um, kind of the more that they are observing you, um, the more that, that, that kind of light, that truth, um, that energetic truth between the both of you is really um, shining through, is really kind of uh, penetrating that guarded exterior that this person may have had or this very rigid stance in the mental space. This is something which is providing illumination for them with that, you know, that almost this ace of swords here, this, this card of truth, this clarity, this epiphany, um, some kind of realization that this person has had about you. Somebody who's also, again, kind of planning that move forward strategizing almost this desire to make communication to reach out to say something um, but again being in this planning stages either things in their life that they need to close out um, or some kind of a, a distance that needs to be bridged somebody who also if you don't have social media um, maybe actively trying to seek you out in terms of googling you asking people about you um, you know investigating to some degree to try and Find a window of opportunity, a way into your life, a way to, to move forward. They don't feel at this point necessarily of, of being ready to jump forth through that portal and speak that truth. But this is somebody who is in this planning stage, this inventory stage, somebody who has this desire with this reference to purification to um, kind of cleanse the energy between the both of you. A cleansing may be happening within this person's life and within this person's energy, um, aside from this connection, that is really helping to foster the potential of um, kind of an alleviation of any sort of stuff or low vibrational energy um, that you may have experienced with them in the past or kind of this residue that's been left over um, from whatever was said or whatever was not said. So in terms of you and this person crossing paths again, this does feel like something that is actively on this person's mind. This doesn't really feel like something that would just, I mean, obviously, you know, the universe can step in, can and can do things or, or provide opportunity to, to sort of hasten this process. Um, this seems like somebody who is really kind of getting in alignment with that truth. Um, almost this idea of, of turning on um, a, a car, an engine, when it's really cold outside. And at least for older models of cars, you know, having giving that engine the opportunity to warm up a little bit before you just set off on that journey, before you set off on that adventure. That feels like the energy that this person is in. Um, the engine has turned over. Um, the vehicle, the mechanism has turned on something within this person's heart space that they may have been sort of closed off to. 
kind of these memories, these regrets that they've been left with. It has really, something has clicked into place with them. They've turned a page and to some degree in their life. And now they're in this process of, of kind of warming up, um, letting all those, those kind of, um, those fluids and components start to flow and, and start to kind of work together. Um, different factors and aspects of this person's internal reality and external reality um, sort of coming together, uh, building that momentum, building that trajectory in order to, you know, set course towards you. So this does, again, serendipity, some kind of a, you know, a synchronistic event. Um, the universe can definitely help to hasten this process along, but this feels like somebody who, um, kind of one of the lessons in this circumstance is to take assertive action, to take control in this circumstance, um, in ways in which they may have allowed fear to be the, the driver in their life in the past and in this circumstance. This is somebody who is taking the reins who is um, kind of, again, a big lesson is to make that assertive change, to go forth toward what makes them happy, to leave behind um, what no longer serves them, to leave behind things that were based on a place of inauthenticity or even kind of a, a closed or a blocked off energy. Something also with, um, you know, these two hearts here and some heart chakra activations that can be happening um, as that kind of solar plexus chakra within this person, you know, really activates, really kind of um, comes to life. Um, becomes more pronounced, then it can help to send that kundalini energy further up um, kind of the tree of the etheric body um, to where that activation, um, that heart light comes on full blast. It's almost like the headlights turning on in the car so that the way forward is known through this darkness, through this unknown territory, um, through whatever gap or, or distance this person must, you know, may need to cross. That could be literal or even just kind of figuratively within themselves, metaphorically speaking, um, kind of this process of almost planning that route, making the map, determining, you know, what's necessary, what do they need to take with them, what must they leave behind, what are some steps um, that are necessary, and somebody who's in this process of really building up that momentum, building up that courage, gathering their resources, gathering their strength, gathering their courage to um, take action, to generate um, a new beginning with you potentially or to um, generate those circumstances where you are once again in each other's orbit so that conversations that need to take place can happen. Words that were spoken that may be in the form of apology or feelings that were held um, inside can be brought forth, can be expressed. Um, these feel like things that again have been weighing on this person heavily, weighing on their heart for a long time um, and signs external to themselves and also this kind of this fire within them is really pushing them and is motivating them to move out of this very kind of isolated and uh, singular energy and back toward this potential of again closure for the two of you in the form of apology some kind of vindication um, or this feels like somebody who is is very hopeful that um, speaking this truth can really um, kind of widen the path for the two of you that you can take that next step on on the journey toward exploring maybe a more romantic component. If this was somebody that was, um, you know, you were just friends with or, or the connection didn't really get very far off the ground or fear or even outside circumstances caused this person to pull away, um, to distance themselves, to cut um, this situation off from their life in the past. This is somebody who wants to turn the page, wants to um, act where in the past they may have held back um, or somebody who wants to step into that place of truth where in the past they may have allowed fear to really um, be their guiding force. So I'm going to get a few messages from this person's higher self for you, group one, and see what do they want to tell you. Okay, they say, finding out the truth crushed me. So if this was someone who chose to move in another direction romantically, this definitely is holding the energy of the grass not being greener on the other side. Somebody who allowed fear or um, even perceptions, a sense of stubbornness to determine the course that they were going to take in their life um, by way of a romantic partner. Somebody who, you know, may have... Um, 
kind of had the opportunity to have a relationship with you even and chose to remain single to remain unattached um, there's a sense here of again with this nine of swords and this this imagery of kind of this um, this single bed this very kind of um, constricted space that this is something that you know this person has has not felt that satisfaction that they hope to achieve um, by whatever was said or done or, or was held back on in the past um, and so it's something that you know they're letting you know there's a lot of discomfort with that there's a lot of um, there's a sense of this person almost um, being very harsh on themselves even for operating out of an energy of fear previously rather than moving um, towards love in the direction that their heart was calling them somebody who chose to instead move in the opposite direction and kind of the ripple effect that has had the ramifications that has had this sense of isolation and loneliness that this person may have even if they are in another relationship um, it's something that has really diminished in a certain way um, this person's capacity to experience joy and so again Again, this is that energy of the would have, could have, should have, um, that energy of regret, wishing that they had made a different choice in the past. They also say you were the best thing in my life. So that's kind of an extension of, you know, that energy of the grass not being greener on the other side. This person recognizing that a choice that was made to pull away from this connection um, or to not take a chance um, on opening up to this connection when they had the opportunity, that this is something that has really left them with a sense of loss. They may have other things that are going really well in their life. They may have stability in other capacities, but there's something, there's some kind of a void within this person. Um, some kind of a deep sense of loneliness that they now um, that they now are sitting with that has been with them that has followed them through this progression of time in their journey in another direction um, and so you know this reference here this is also again kind of thinking back on on the situation with you with this page of swords this can also be you know this energy of daydream so it feels like this person is dreaming of you at night um, even having nightmares about you know this this realization this sense of of what they missed out on having made the the wrong choice for themselves or a choice that didn't turn out as fulfilling as they might have thought or perceived that it would be um, daydreaming of a new opportunity a fresh start um, a new beginning with you some kind of a healing some kind of a coming together um, you know that energy of reciprocity and and really turning the page in this situation to um, kind of resume uh, a more constructive energy between the both of you and to build toward a more productive future they also say we will be together again so that is definitely that energy of somebody who is um, really planning and strategizing taking inventory taking stock of, of what they what they must do what they must release what they must um, cultivate in their life um, in order to again really kind of shift this energy turn the page between the both of you so get a few more messages from this person's higher self All right, they say you are healing DNA and clearing ancestral karma in your family line. So this can really be a reference to um, maybe some perceptions or priorities that this person had had in the past that led to them not acting upon their feelings, not moving toward the connection. Um, maybe differences in culture, differences in religion, an age difference, um, some kind of a perception that they had that the two of you were too opposite um, to really properly attract. Somebody who may have just kind of dismissed the connection and the bond between the both of you as pure chemistry or almost this lustful energy energy that as time has gone on and they're really um, able to feel that acute sense of being alone um, even amongst you know groups of people even within another relationship that is really bringing to the forefront for this person how they may have misjudged you misjudged this connection um, this is this process of kind of of release of letting go of purification moving beyond the rigid stance of judging you judging the connection and the potential that exists there based on superficial or surface level factors somebody who's learning to um, really trust in their heart feel into that move toward that um, even when that is in direct contrast from whatever from the outside outside culture or tradition um, or even a belief system that this person has had a perception that they have even when it's very contrary to that 
We also have balance your upper chakras. So this is that energy of that solar plexus, um, that activation, that empowerment center within this person. And the more they are doing work on that, speaking their truth, standing in that authenticity, it's kind of moving that fire within them up into those upper chakras to, you know, help to unblock the heart chakra, um, you know, so that they are able to really learn to perceive um, with that sort of muscle within themselves, that etheric muscle to follow that truth. Let that heart be that guiding light, um, you know, stepping into that place of authenticity, that throat chakra, speaking that truth out loud, moving from this energy of just kind of wishful thinking and longing into, you know, doing something about that, saying something, having those, you you know, conversations that need to be had. The third eye chakra then, trusting that intuition, um, recognizing the signs, trusting the guidance, trusting what they are sensing and feeling beyond what is being displayed to them. That crown chakra where again that divine inspiration comes down from on high. Um, this person connecting with that higher self, um, looking to the best possible outcome and scenario in the circumstance between the both of you rather than focusing on um, exclusively kind of what things look like in in the material sense. Um, but somebody who's in this process of, of really kind of rising out of their circumstances, who has this interest in also kind of bringing the energy of this connection out of something that is maybe more stuck and stagnant, something that is lower vibrational, um, and really helping to um, actively kind of ascend the connection between the both of you, move on in a more positive direction, even in the form of um, providing peace and closure through an apology, um, through maybe just opening and establishing the lines of friendship between the both of you so that in some way you are able to really experience and enjoy the presence of one another in each other's lives again. They also say the setback is temporary and will resolve. So again, this person in this process of preparation, planning, preparing, um, somebody who's not really for the long term intending on staying for very much longer in this kind of distant energy from you, from this connection. Somebody who is, you know, in this process of kind of building that courage, um, you know, gaining their footing, planning their next move so that they can at least take that leap of faith, so they can at least make the effort um, to provide some kind of movement, some kind of momentum in a situation that, you know, may feel like unfinished business or something that left you with a lot of questions, a lot of uncertainty, some kind of lingering pain or, um, you know, just kind of this, this energy of sorrow and of longing. Um, somebody who's very much feeling that as well and is, you know, really stepping into that, that empowered version of self where, you know, they're, they're no longer content to just kind of sit and ruminate on these things. This is somebody who is really strategizing, planning, and, um, you know, is, is, is making that momentum within themselves to create change in the circumstances circumstances between you. So I'm going to get some guidance from Spirit for you now, Group 1, about the situation. Okay, so we have fire. So that's a great uh, message there that really ties in with kind of this, this solar plexus chakra energy, this energy of empowerment. Um, you know, you're really guided to continue to stand in your own truth and your own authenticity. You might feel that buildup, that momentum from this person, that something is going to shift, something has the potential to change. Uh, but you're really guided to, as much as possible, not allow that to distract you from all of the work that you have done within yourself to um, really rise out of this situation. This is bringing to mind almost like a phoenix from the ashes, the ways in which you have um, kind of constructed yourself or, or resurrected yourself um, out of kind of the, uh, the missed opportunity here, whatever ended with this person. Um, kind of the more work you are doing within yourself, it is sending out a vibrational invitation to this person to do that work as well. Um, the two of you really mirroring each other in terms of that energy of empowerment, that energy of confidence and courage. Um, so really continue to focus on that standing in your power. Um, if this person reaches back out, you know, making sure that you're honoring yourself as well. Um, the boundaries that you have learned to establish, the ways in which you have learned to value yourself. Um, it can be very tempting, you know, somebody you've been waiting for, somebody you've been hoping to hear from, um, to just immediately kind of take them back in. But this almost feels like this energy of trial by fire. Uh, maybe not making it just so easy for them to step back in, but really requiring them to prove that change has happened. 
um, prove that they are, you know, really have um, kind of restructured their life or the way that they are going to approach this situation, that those words are followed up with concrete action, um, allowing this connection, you know, the, the spark to be reignited, not trying to suppress that as well, um, but understanding that, you know, there's no rush in this situation. This is something that, you know, can really lead potentially to a place of longevity. Um, if this is something that you would be interested in kind of reconnecting romantically with this person, um, there's no need to rush this. Um, you know, when you when you get on the same page with each other and, and really allow that to kind of um, develop organically and flow organically, there's the ability to, you know, warm each other by the constancy of that. Um, to rush in too quickly might risk it being almost like a quick burn, um, something where, you know, it's it's hot and heavy, it's a lot of passion, um, but then you kind of in, encounter these triggers. Um, it's almost jumping in too quickly into the circumstance, so kind of more, more of the deliberate approach. Um, kind of reframing your your belief about this whole situation, um, looking that at this as um, kind of changing the view from something that has kind of a destructive force um, to something that has had the ability to allow you to recreate yourself as well. Whatever has happened with this person, um, it has really been a doorway. It has been a portal for you to stepping into your best self, to stepping into that energy of self-love, of self-acceptance, um, refashioning yourself, reforming yourself af off of what has happened um, in the past between the both of you. And this person also being in that journey, being in some stage of that um, activations taking place within this person. You may also experience kind of this, this emanation of this, this kundalini energy Energy from them, this very loving energy from them as they're very much um, thinking about this connection. And so really being guided again to not as much as possible, not let that um, kind of distract you from your path, your goals, your priorities, um, but really receiving that energy with love and with gratitude and allowing that to um, kind of help to, to give you that boost or that encouragement, um, that creative energy to, you know, kind of redirect that focus, invest that further into whatever it is you've been cultivating within yourself or in your life up to this point in time. So I'm going to get one more little bit of guidance for you. Group one. Okay. And we have the Cosmic Enchantress wish craft. I attract a steady flow of abundance. So I'm really drawn to, you know, this red hair, this fiery energy, and again, this passion, this, this connection really igniting. For a lot of you, this could be a wish come true, a long-awaited apology or conversation, a reconciliation, or, or just, you know, crossing paths with this person again. The opportunity to um, really speak your truth in a way that you may not have been afforded the opportunity before. Um, really advising you as well to um, kind of with an, with an open mind and, and with an open heart to receive what this person has to say, to listen to that with this, you know, kind of um, putting judgment on pause as much as possible, to really feel into that, to sense into that. Recognizing this as, as an opportunity um, to either create some closure for the two of you in this circumstance or the opportunity to move on into a new productive chapter together. Um, either way, some kind of closure, some kind of vindication, um, some kind of confirmation maybe even that the connection wasn't all in your head or, or it's not been completely out of sight, out of mind that you have made an impact on this person. Um, they've still been thinking about you. Something has, has really, through the circumstances, have helped this person um, to shift themselves, shift their perspective in some way, shift their priorities, recognizing again kind of this energy of phoenix from the ashes, um, kind of reframing your thoughts about the situation with this person. Um, to one of gratitude, gratitude for the difficulties, the disappointments and the pain and the ways in which that has really been pressure that has allowed you to kind of be reformed um, into a more luminous version of yourself. Um, also really with this, these two cards here, this is bringing to mind almost this water and fire energy 
um, and kind of this this masculine and feminine polarity. So if you resonate as a twin flame, this can be um, a confirmation for you of, of your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Um, you know, really thinking about this, um, doing this work, actively participating in this process within themselves that you may have been um, actively engaged in for some time. And this can also really, again, kind of speak to this energy of, of duality, recognizing the passion and love and the excitement that you have um, if this person, you know, comes back around or even some um, kind of like feelings of anger and resentment that might come up, um, you know, kind of an impatience even about when will they show up and, and tempering that as much as possible, um, stepping into that energy of peace, um, recognizing that whatever happens in this circumstance, um, you know, you're, you're almost um, a more clarified version of yourself has the potential to be unleashed from these circumstances or in some way has been realized. Um, recognizing your power both in, in action and receptivity. Um, again, receiving whatever this person has to say and whether that's something that just provides you with this closure. In some way, um, this really seems that balance in some way is to be restored into this connection for you, um, for this person. Um, you know, maybe it's just, it's the opportunity of this person reaching back out and you close that door um, once and for all to them and that can almost be um, you know kind of that resolution that you've needed for others of you this can be again kind of that fresh start the two of you um, coming into balance uh, really working through some of those difficulties of the past um, and starting fresh on a in a chapter where you're both um, you know interested and able to to work toward a productive future together in the connection so I'm going to get some initials for you now. Group one, this can be first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got E, B, P, N, J, F, T, X, Z, and U. So those are your messages, group one. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the video. If you liked the reading, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I also sell handmade jewelry and some divination tools in my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
Hi, group two. You chose the pyrite along with these cards, which I will start with to get a feel about if you and your person will cross paths again. Got the king of cups. Three of cups. The knight of swords. Eight of swords. Creation. Abundance. And Shaman Spiral, Awareness, Practice, Connection. So with the Eight of Swords, this can be somebody who um, feels that they are unable to reach out to you for some reason. Um, you may have blocked this person. Um, you may have been the one to kind of cut off um, communication with them, or you have um, set, set down some kind of a firm ultimatum, um, some kind of a firm boundary or barrier. This could have been somebody that you've been in kind of a prolonged cycle of um, like a runner chaser dynamic with them, um, where this person almost comes back around and things are going well only for them to um, kind of distance themselves or, or pull away again. And at some point in time, you may have really um, kind of been firm in that, that you were, um, you know, breaking out of that cycle. You're, you're not interested in participating in that, almost this energy of that they need to come to you correctly or don't come at all. Um, and that this has been something that has really created an impact um, on this person. This has really been something, whatever those words were that were spoken with this Knight of Swords, um, it's been something, it's a truth that has really cut to the heart of this person. Um, this could be something where then they've been at a distance from you for some point in time after that. Um, kind of thinking about this, really processing all of that. Um, this can be something where um, this doesn't really feel like somebody who um, feels that there is any way to um, really kind of get back into your life at this point in time. This has been somebody who has really kind of taken those words, taken that truth that you delivered to this person, um, and by the ways in which they've kind of digested this um, inside themselves, they really have turned that gaze within. It's that inward focus. Um, it's taking those words to heart that you have spoken to them. Um, some kind of a process that this person has been involved with. Um, with really connecting to their higher self, connecting to their heart, uh, maybe deep healing some kind of um, deep wounds within themselves that had um, sort of resulted in this in this energy of um, really being kind of fearful of love, fearful of connection, fearful of intimacy, um, fearful of vulnerability. Somebody who was kind of indecisive, didn't really know what they wanted. Um, you know, kind of move back and forth between investing in a depth of connection and then retracting into kind of a comfort zone where things were, you know, a little more surface level. Um, there was a little less expected of them. Things were a little more um, like casual connections almost with the Three of Cups here. Um, but it's something where, you know, with this with this King of Cups, it seems like some kind of an evolution has taken place within this person, some kind of a journey of self-awareness that they have been on to again kind of um, free themselves from some of those wounds and limitations within themselves, um, to focus on um, kind of this cultivation of self-love within themselves um, that has kind of been sparked or spurred by um, some kind of a line in the sand that you have drawn with this person, some kind of words that were spoken, some some kind of a very direct truth, the way in which you cut this person off. This person may not be um, accustomed usually to people setting up boundaries with them, people setting up barriers, people telling them no. This could be somebody who has been very used to always getting their way, having others um, kind of cater to them or fawn all over them, fawn all over their attention. Um, but that something in this circumstance has, has been very different for this person. It's been a wake up call. It has really um, shaken something from deep within them to the surface. 
it's brought something to their awareness of some kind of patterns um, or even kind of these these cycles that they've been in, kind of these wounds within themselves and how this has helped to be almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's helped to create um, a reality for themselves that um, is almost a mirage that is a little less than satisfactory. This is somebody who's recognized that these wounds within themselves have kind of been at a disservice to how they've been showing up in connections, in romantic partnerships and friendships. Um, um, somebody who's almost recognizing the limited capacity in which they've experienced dynamics, dynamics with other people. This is somebody who's also recognizing and honoring um, kind of the unique quality, um, even the truth, a harsh truth that you delivered to them, um, that this has been very valuable for this person. Um, they may have also kind of gone through a range of emotions, of resentment, um, anger and denial, sorrow, a feeling of loss, and have finally kind of reached this place of surrender, being able to fully look in the mirror, to own these aspects of themselves, recognize these patterns within themselves, and some kind of work has taken place as well with this King of Cups to, um, you know, observe these tendencies within them, to observe their emotional waters um, in a different way than they had before. This could have been somebody who was very apt to be triggered, very apt to be um, kind of submerged or, or overcome by their emotions, by the fluctuation in that, but some kind of an evolution has taken place where now they're from a more, they're able to kind of step into that observer um, position where they're recognizing these cycles, they're recognizing these triggers um, and how that has manifested, what that has created for them, um, kind of this sense of almost the superficial relationships, kind of the good times, not really being so good anymore. It's not really resonating with this person. There's a longing for depth um, that maybe wasn't there in this person before, something that they have shied away from, that they have almost feared. There's now this this urge for that, um, you know, being more at ease with that, um, not feeling so overwhelmed by what might have been kind of these unconscious wounds, these triggers, these things within them that cause them to kind of react, act out. This is somebody who's stepped into this this place of self-awareness um, and is in the process of kind of uh, moving through and, and cutting through some of those cycles while at a distance from you. Um, so if you've been doing some work in your your own life to kind of break away from cycles, maybe even what was said or happened with this person being a concrete example of that, of you setting boundaries, of you, you know, really honoring yourself focusing on your own abundance of heart, um, choosing to only participate in connections that fill your cup in the same way in which you provide, no longer giving um, space in your life to connections that are one-sided or that are draining, um, and kind of that assertiveness that has taken place, um, that nurturing and that self-love that you've embodied. Um, by admitting that to this person, it has definitely had some kind of an impact. You've shaken something within this person. Something has been jostled loose within this person. There has been work that has been taking place kind of quietly and behind the scenes and in very subtle ways, but um, in very profound and deep ways within this person that might not be so apparent from the surface. Um, if you are able to, you know, if you see this person um, like on social media or, or you know, even just if you're if you're not looking, if you're you're not interested, um, but just in general, what they are projecting, they might really be um, still kind of putting on this air, this this show of everything being all right, um, trying to put on that happy face while inside. It's you know, there's a lot of change occurring. There's a lot going on. This could be somebody as well that um, kind of has this this tendency to almost avoid these issues within themselves, maybe by you know. Um, focusing on um, kind of the good times, on, on partying, maybe even drinking as a way to um, kind of escape some of these wounds within themselves. It feels that, you know, this person is really starting to recognize that as well. This is, person is starting to really recognize kind of this, this self-sabotaging, this avoidance that has been a tactic for them um, in a lot of things in their life, but then also in this connection as well. Um, that whatever they were giving to you, whatever indications that they, they gave or, or kind of um, signs or signals that were provided, that they were, um, that they were interested, that they were ready, they were ready to commit, they were ready to take this to the next level, only to have it be almost this cycle of um, kind of push and pull between the both of you coming in only to pull apart again and you being the one to maybe cut that circumstance off to really you know stand your ground with this person it has had an effect there's been some kind of development and growth um, this definitely feels like something where 
even the work that you've done on yourself, um, you know, internally with this reference here to connection, that the two of you are really, you know, you're connected energetically still. Um, you're kind of, you might be feeling and experiencing some of these, uh, kind of this evolution within this person that is almost giving you um, kind of this boost and this confidence and this affirmation energetically that you're also on this correct path toward filling your own cup, toward focusing on self-love. This feels very much like an energy that is reciprocal. Um, the two of you really supporting and cheering each other on in this process of um, kind of facing some of these shadows, owning up to some of these cycles and, and really um, doing what's necessary to, you know, kind of cut through these, to cut away from these things, to break away, to confront um, these these kind of shadows within self, these, these unhealed wounds, this residual baggage, rather than, than allowing that to continue to um, kind of diminish the quality of your life in some way or, or to um, cause you to not, you know, speak your truth or, or stand in that authenticity. Um, kind of these wounds that have been calling in um, people with a similar wounded vibration and the ways in, and experiences that kind of reinforce that. Again, this idea of the self-fulfilling prophecy um, that you both kind of remotely in your own way are doing this work to, to recognize these things, to cut away from these things, to rewrite the story for yourselves, um, to really declare what it is you expect, how it is you expect to be treated um, to get very clear within yourself about what you want out of your life, um, what happiness means to you, what resonates with you, an inventory that could also be taking place in terms of other relationships in your life, other things that you're both um, participating in or doing, and things even with this idea here of, of being trapped with the Eight of Swords and, and Three of Cups. Um, this can definitely relate to addiction, alcoholism, for example, substance abuse, um, something that's really, it's a sense of almost being trapped round and round in this cycle, um, but that something has really happened, something is really um, profoundly taking place to kind of free yourselves from whatever these, these kind of trappings or these bindings are. Um, this feels like something also in terms of um, the question, will you, will you cross paths with this person again? This feels very much like something that would be almost like a um a serendipitous meeting, something where you just run into this person out in a public setting, very unplanned. Um, you kind of both are seem to be in this energy of just um you know, the feeling that the the situation is kind of it's it's done, it's over with. Um, you know, you're not interested in participating in that same cycle with this person again. They are recognizing as well that um, that you've kind of you've sort of cut off. We have here with this shield in the background of this card, but it's got almost like a crack through it that is held together um, with these kind of little metal components. There's a sense of that cycle being broken, that cycle being. Um, kind of discontinued and you know this kind of coming to terms with that reality of kind of the pattern and the habit that the two of, the two of you were in previously um, whatever sort of cutting force occurred whatever was said or done that sort of severed that that discontinued that that kind of pattern um, and this person and you also really um, kind of stitching those two aspects together into a place of acceptance um, accepting the situation for how it is accepting, you know, the conclusion between the both of you as being almost like this finite thing. Um, but with this idea also of, of, the, of the shaman spiral here and kind of this, this idea of the journey within kind of leading to that truth that then helps to kind of ascend the, the exterior circumstances, almost like as within, so without, the work that is done inside kind of rippling out in the material world. It feels very much again like this serendipitous, this chance meeting with this person. Um, but but kind of the ways in which the two of you interact, even energetically, you will both be able to sense a maturation within each other. Um, everybody has free will, you know, just because you, you encounter this person again and it seems that they've evolved in some capacity, this might not be something that you really want to participate with this person again, that you want to um, 
you know, open yourself up, up again to this experience with them. For other people, um, this change within them will be so profound and so obvious. Um, as an example, if this was somebody that was kind of dealing with addiction in the past, this person may be sober. This person may have, you know, a period of sobriety that they have been, um, that they have cultivated within themselves. This person may have um, kind of moved away from sort of a lack mentality or a fear of commitment um, that might have manifested even like moving through jobs frequently, moving where they live frequently, um, just being very indecisive, somebody who's constantly kind of, um, you know, changing their priorities and, and being very wishy-washy. This person, when you when you encounter them again, they have um, really laid some roots for themselves with this abundance card here. They have really um, fo chosen to focus on something. They have really um, devoted themselves to something that is that has started to kind of bear fruit, that has blossomed. Um, this person may have really created something for themselves, some kind of stability, some kind of a life, um, some kind of a dream that they always just had but never acted upon. Um, you may find that they have taken steps toward that, that they have you know built this into some kind of a reality for themselves. With this reference to shaman and also the King of Cups again. Um, um, this deep wisdom and emotional maturity that will be energetically apparent from this person. This won't just be somebody who is, you know, speaking honeyed words and you have to kind of um, feel beneath the surface to determine if it's if it's true or not. This feels like somebody that um, it's going to be very obvious in a lot of ways, in a lot of exterior ways, in the way that they carry themselves, um, in the way that their energy is perceived by you, in the way that they, you know, project that out into the world, the life they have built for themselves. It feels very much um, like wisdom has been gained for a lot of you this is something also where when your paths cross again with this with this knight of swords this person may express to you some degree of gratitude um, maybe for the the harsh truth that you delivered to them it's gratitude for um, you know really cutting them off not participating in this cycle with them again and that you know really serving as this wake-up call for them this could be somebody who also has um, kind of stepped into this place of really helping others, really helping to, um, you know, illuminate truths for others. This could be somebody with this kind of this community energy of three of cups that, you know, again, this idea of mentoring people or somebody who has um, really started to connect with a different kind of community, a different group of people, somebody who's surrounding themselves with um, different kind of outside influences, somebody who's kind of attracting um, different kinds of opportunities to them than you may have experienced in the past. So this feels like an energy of transformation, of maturity, somebody who's become wiser and so if this is a connection where you would entertain that romantic possibility um, this definitely feels like somebody that the experience that you would have with them after crossing paths again would be very different than what you experienced before. Um, any kind of fear of cycles repeating themselves, which can be very natural when we go through difficult things with an individual, especially repeatedly. Um, again, these things are very natural, but there is a strong indication here of growth in another direction, um, of a more pleasing series of circumstances being possible between the both of you because of this internal change that has happened within this person, this process of breaking through cycles, of rewriting the story for themselves, redefining their life in some way, this being very obvious, very visible to you, very apparent to you. Um, for others of you, um, kind of when you, just this chance meeting with this person, and whatever they say, um, even if this is somebody who, you know, tries to kind of come back into your life, from this perspective of a changed energy and you know maybe that door is still closed you st you're just you know it provides you with that kind of that ultimate closure where you might be happy for them and kind of the evolution and the growth that has taken place um, but it's something where you as well are in a different place entirely in your life um, so that any kind of a lingering feeling of, of what if what if this person changed for a lot of you this is going to it's going to provide you with peace of mind um, where you'll be happy for this person for the growth that has happened for them um, really becoming more self-aware and becoming more proactive to um, step into and cultivate that best life for themselves 
but it's something that's really going to reaffirm for you the journey that you've been on, the way in which you have evolved, which you have recreated yourself. Um, that somebody that may have really captivated your heart before, somebody that you know you may have invested a lot in emotionally. Um, maybe you're open to the possibility of just being friends with this person, or it's something where um, you know it creates kind of that final closure for you. Um, it kind of ends that circle. It brings that full amount of closure um, where you realize that you are not the same person anymore. The growth that has taken place within you, um, you know, as much growth may have taken place within this person as well, you're just not on the same page. Um, you both have kind of grown into different individuals. And so it kind of, it provides that kind of finality for you. Um, and the questions of what if, you know, did your words fall on deaf ears? This kind of thought that maybe this person is not going to change. It feels vindicating almost that some kind of a shift has happened with this person, that they finally have gotten their act together in some capacity. Um, they finally have found themselves or, or created um, some kind of stability or they grounded themselves in some way. Um, but it's recognition as well that, you know, you're both kind of on different paths that, um, this can help to also kind of um, close up any sort of lingering hope you may have had of a romantic future with this person, which then helps to really um, fully get you on that timeline to um, kind of creating this opportunity and this abundance for yourself with, with a partner who is more aligned to who you have become, um, with somebody who is, you know, able and willing to, to kind of meet you. Um, at that reciprocal level, somebody that you're not going to have all this kind of difficult history with, um, but almost this energy of a fresh start with somebody who really aligns with the person that you have um, kind of developed into through this circumstance. Um, kind of that, that wake up call, that seed of change through whatever you said and whichever ways you cut this person off maybe in the past, um, that really being, again, kind of that pivotal point for yourself where, you know, you started this growth journey in another direction and through encountering this person and kind of the closure that that provides, um, it really giving you a new perspective for everything that you've been through. Um, how crucial that that decision point was where you said no to this. Um, you extracted yourself from that cycle. Um, and in a way, it's almost going to bring you the sense of abundance and the sense of certainty um, at a deep core level that the choice you made um, to move in another direction or to move away from this person um, was in fact the correct decision to make. Um, and it's going to in some way illuminate for you that, um, you know, that was a crucial first step um, that has aligned you with the path to your highest good in love and in other ways in your life. So I'm gonna get a few messages from this person's higher self for you group two. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, and they say, I want to feel that way again. So as, this much, as much as this person is going through some changes within themselves, um, again, it feels some experience with you, something you said, something that occurred has been very pivotal for this person. They've had some kind of a wake up call that their wounds have really been kind of a puppet master. Um, they've been in some cycles of self-sabotage in the past. Um, there's this feeling of recognition and appreciation for what you shared together in this connection previously. Um, somebody who really feels that that was a precious moment, um, that it was a gift to have encountered you. Um, even the harsh reality that was almost delivered to this person through you setting these boundaries, um, that the time apart has afforded them the ability to kind of go with in and, and kind of cleanse themselves of some of these wounds, um, heal these wounds. It has also really provided that contrast um, for the beauty that existed, the potential that existed that maybe they squandered or took for granted in this connection in the past. And it's something where, you know, it's they're starting to really cherish that and revere that um, and recognize that and honor that current of love um, in general, but also in terms of this connection in a way that they may not have been able to before. They also say it's time for me to heal now. So that is that energy of breaking cycles, um, that kind of pivot point that they are at, um, really taking ownership of the ways in which they've been showing up, in which they've self-sabotaged, or they have avoided love. Um, or triggers in the past. This is a person who's on this journey to emotional evolution, to ascending beyond um, kind of who they were and how they were showing up in their life and in love previously. And they also say, I love you. 
So again, there's that core truth that has been unearthed within this person. Um, this also really feels like love and the capacity of gratitude, um, that the situation between the both of you, something about this has been life altering for this person. It has been that wake up call. You may have been the only person or the first person to really set boundaries with this individual. Um, something that really kind of startled them or shook them awake and you know, regardless of what the future holds for the both of you, this is something which they will always look back on this circumstance, this situation with you um, as being to their benefit ultimately, to, to helping them to step onto that path of self-improvement, of self-awareness, um, to really discontinue cycles and patterns, to become fully aware of that, fully cognizant of these things, um, that the circumstance between the both of you has really kind of, again, shaken them awake in some capacity. And so there is this, almost this deep and abiding love and gratitude um, that you were able to perform that function for them, um, that you were able to be the one maybe who um, stood up to them when nobody else would, somebody who you know wouldn't tolerate these patterns or participate in these cycles with this person when they've only encountered people you know that that would do that or others that may have set boundaries with this person in the past. They may have been in this energy of, of kind of projecting blame, but there's something about the very unique dynamic between the both of you, this connection between the both of you where um, the seed that you planted really has germinated within this person. Um, something has really had an effect on this person, a transformative effect. Um, and there's a sense of gratitude from the soul level um, for having awakened them, even in a very harsh way. So I want to get a few more messages from this person for you, group two. Okay, and we have one year. So that can be um, kind of an indication of timing. Maybe it's been a year since you kind of discontinued a cycle with this person or um, in a year that, you know, might be when you run into them again and there's that opportunity for closure or for experiencing this connection in a new capacity. Um, this reference to year is also really one year really has this, um, this idea of full circle something coming into a completion um, and kind of what follows that, you know, the kind of leaving the past behind and stepping into that newness, um, kind of a new beginning becoming possible that again, the circumstances between the both of you have really helped to point out some cycles that this person was operating in, some distortions um, that they were operating from. It's helped to bring some things to their awareness so that they have the opportunity as much as you may have, you know, broken the cycle, cut the cycle with them. Um, it has in turn allowed them to recognize cycles within themselves to take a proactive approach um, to really cutting things off um, in their own life to, to changing their circumstances. One year is also for me with this kind of what was coming up with that energy of somebody that might have been dealing with addiction. Um, you can encounter this person when they have one year sober, which could be a huge milestone for this person that may have had a difficulty um, maintaining sobriety for any kind of uh, period of time and this could be something where you know they're they're out celebrating that they're they're with a group of people maybe um, you know family members or friends or some kind of a community that um, they get support with for um, for their endeavors of sobriety maybe AA or NA something like that um, and it's you know out at some kind of a function in that capacity and you run into this person um, this can that can be significant as well um, this can also really indicate um, I'm feeling also with this kind of the inverse of that year one um, to where you know this is speaking about the potential for new beginning with this person um, this person reaching this level of emotional maturity um, when you cross paths again that they really do have the tools they are equipped to close out the past with you, to begin again, to begin afresh um, it will almost be like meeting a new version of them 
to where you know you have that choice to embark um, upon that journey or it's something maybe that can just again kind of provide that closure that the two of you have really um, you've grown in different directions and you know whatever kind of lessons or or influence or um, you know takeaway there was from the relationship previously that you're both on different paths now there's different things to learn um, there's different people out there that are meant to really inspire you um, meant to really um, help you on your next kind of step of growth your next stage of ascension meant to um, kind of fill your heart with with a very loving vibration as opposed to maybe some of the difficult vibrations the the kind of shadowy face of love that you would experience with this person previously and they also say distance is hard for me so this is really that energy of um, some kind of difficult shadows that this person is facing something you've brought to this person's awareness um, you know that that they may have really avoided looking at for some point in time there's a lot of um, kind of difficult growth cycles, difficult things that they're having to face within themselves to, to break away from. Um, it's kind of a, a period of that idea of sort of like the caterpillar becoming the butterfly and the caterpillar enters the chrysalis, the cocoon, and completely dissolves in its corporeal form um, in, t in order to kind of be reformed, to coagulate into um, the body of a butterfly, to grow these wings and eventually emerge from that chrysalis and take flight. Um, so this person feels like they are in some, currently in some kind of stage of that, um, that kind of breakdown period, that dissolving period where you know almost like the the entire makeup of this person everything about this person's life about their you know their views on life their the way in which they're showing up in the world even their energy everything is going through a, a drastic transformation which can be you know very difficult very painful a very arduous process um and so it may take some time before you know you are at that place where your your paths are going to cross again um but through these difficulties this feels like somebody who is also really unearthing a level of strength, um, a level of authenticity and certainty within them that may have been obscured or kind of avoided before. And they also say there is no need to worry. So if some of you are really kind of, you're not looking forward to seeing this person again, you, you know, you're not interested in getting back on the same train with them, on, on repeating the same cycle, this is really a... Um, a reassurance from this person's higher self that there is deep change happening and if this is someone you do choose to you know take their hand and, and step on that path of love again um, this is kind of an assurance that this will be a very evolved and changed version of who you were dealing with previously changed in the better um, an ascended version of this person this is also a confirmation that um, you know, this this might be something where when you see them, um, it, again, it won't necessarily be a difficult experience. It will be almost that peaceful closure for you. There will be nothing to worry about because it will be so apparent that the two of you are in completely different worlds now. Um, your paths are taking you in completely different directions. And it almost feels like something where you'll be happy for this person. Um, you'll feel a sense of vindication within yourself that your words didn't fall on deaf ears. Um, that kind of the steps that you took with this person has made an impact. Again, for some of you, this person may come to you and say um, that you changed their life for the better. Something you said, it really hit home. Um, that they've been on this incredible journey of transformation and you know they, they are expressing gratitude for two you for that for that very difficult um, and very honest um, interaction that the two of you had and so that this can be something where it helps to again provide that closure um, to kind of smooth out any of those troubled waters between the both of you for some of you you know this can be somebody who um, you develop a friendship with um, but for others of you, it can be just kind of that ultimate closure so that you're able to um, kind of move forward and again, feel that sense of vindication within yourself. So I'm going to get some messages or some guidance rather from Spirit about the situation for you now, group two. Okay, and we've got stand still. So this is really advising you to, um, you know, just continue to cultivate your inner peace. Um, you know, not expecting an apology, not expecting a dramatic change um, from this person, from these circumstances, but being in a space within yourself that... Um, 
the changes that you are making, that you are doing to uplift your vibration um, is all the explanation you need. This is all the closure that you need. Um, understanding that, you know, cultivating that garden within yourself, you know, addressing, facing your own shadows, learning to accept these things, um, really, you know, seeking to um, brighten your own light, that this is almost this purpose of what you've been through with this person, um, both in the ways in which um, you have been altered by this experience and the ways in which this dynamic has altered um, them, that this feels like something where the two of you really prior to this incarnation have um, agreed to assist one another in that, um, to really hold that mirror up for one another um, about some kind of shadowy aspect, really bringing some kind of trigger to the surface. Um, you know, maybe this is some kind of a, a codependency trigger that you had with this person, a cycle of codependency um, that you really broke away from. And so, you know, this has helped you to kind of own and to recognize and to unpack that aspect of yourself, to not shy away from that, to not, um, you know, berate yourself for that, but to really embrace that as a part of you and to recognize that you have the power and ability um, to change your future, to change the ways in which you are showing up in relationships, in dynamics. This is something where, you know, this can also really um, pretend again, when you interact with this person again, in some way, this will provide you with a sense of peace, with a sense of closure, a sense of peace of mind, um, that even as much as you may have moved forward within your life up to up to that point, um, this is something, it's almost an overlooked aspect, or it's almost just like that, that kind of final bit of closure in some capacity that either is the gateway to a new beginning with the two of you romantically, um, or is a gateway in which you can then walk forward um, kind of with a lightened heart, with an energy of p fully at peace within your heart about this circumstance, about what has happened, um, about your your energy, your you know the dynamic between the two of you really having made an impact upon this person, um, you know it really having hit home, it really having been of value in some way. Um, and this definitely also, again, with this reference to standstill, this doesn't feel like immediately you will run into this person. Um, it feels like there's still more of a, a journey of metamorphosis that needs to happen. This feels very much um, unexpectedly that you will run into this person. Um, so again, not to try to get really caught up in, in kind of the anxiety, anything that's been triggered by even the idea of that as you are watching this reading, um, that those triggers that might come up are, are again, this, this kind of portal, this gateway, this opportunity for you for or some unexpressed um, kind of shadows and wounds that as much as you may have moved on from the circumstance or felt that you've been, um, you know, very okay with things, anything that's kind of coming up that's, you know, an energy of dissonance within you in this moment. Um, that's this invitation to um, kind of address these shadows, to kind of make friends with these shadows within yourself, get to know their name, uh, find out, you know, why, why they're still hanging around, what the purpose of that is, and um, really come to terms with these things, recognize these things within yourself. Um, infuse yourself with even more self-love infuse yourself with you know experiences and, and focusing on um, kind of generating and magnetizing in those vibrations that are not replicants of um, kind of that shadowy energy or, or that very triggered energy but recognizing you have the ability to kind of rewrite your your story to experience different results in the future the past doesn't need to dictate the future so I'm going to get one more bit of guidance for you about this situation, group two. Okay, and we have ancient grandmother, teacher. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. So this is another confirmation from spirit that you have um, really provided a crucial lesson for this person, um, something that has really kind of shaken them awake has changed the course of their journey in this lifetime. In some way, this experience as well, you're being invited to, um, to look at this as a teaching experience, as a very educational experience. Through this experience with this person, you have found greater knowledge of yourself. Um, you have found strengths within yourself. You've come to an awareness of self that, you know, had circumstances worked out differently with this person, had you not come to that crossroads, that period where you, you know, you, you chose to step away from cycles, break out of habits and patterns and, and really address some wounds within yourself, you wouldn't be as, as enriched as you are now. 
Aquarius is encouraging you as well um, with kind of this, you know, this this older energy with this grandmother energy, this crone energy, this energy of wisdom as well um, to again kind of reformulate the way in which you are thinking about this circumstance and understand that, you know, this person is also in this process of maturation, of getting to know themselves, um, that there's more left in the story between the both of you. Um, there's almost like a conclusion in some way that, you know, is is on um, the eventual horizon between the both of you that will either completely close this door forever with this person or will close out completely kind of whatever was energetically lingering from your last experience with them um, so that rebirth and renewal and, and kind of a new version of the dynamic can can be birthed from that from that period of closure. Um, and so this, you know, again, not to not to call this person, you know, a karmic partner, um, because it's it really doesn't have to to do with that. This is more in terms of a contractual kind of agreement that your souls had. Um, you know, karmic partners have these things, soulmates have these things, twin flames have these things. You know, everybody kind of has that. All people that we come into contact with on some level, um, there is some kind of a kind of an underlying purpose to that. Some kind of a, a lesson or or some kind of treasure that is supposed to be unearthed, um, excavated through the, through these experiences, and um, so this is really bringing your attention to. Um, Kind of this contractual agreement that you and this person's soul had to um, through this process of, of the experiences that you've had through the steps that were taken to really propel one another onto this deep journey of metamorphosis you may be taking your power back um, breaking away from cycles that only serve to drain and disappoint you rather than uplift you this person getting that wake-up call to recognize how their their shadow and their distortion has really been compromising their ability to experience fulfillment um, and abundance and reciprocity in relationships relationships with others. And so it feels like the two of you really having completed or fulfilled some type of contract that the two of you had set out to um, to really do for each other in this lifetime as an act of service, not as an act of punishment to one another, um, but even though it may have come in the form of kind of discomfort, difficult experiences, this is ultimately for the purpose of the evolution of your souls. Um, almost a, a gift that you two agreed to um, at the soul level kind of provide to one another this opportunity, this doorway, um, these this recipe for um, you know kind of the the germination or or the birth of this very uh, profound and transformative period of time in your in your incarnation in this lifetime. So it does feel like something that again after you kind of encounter this person, they may again thank you for um, kind of that wake up call you provided for them. You may feel a sense of gratitude for this person as well and kind of what they put you through as you are able to then kind of turn that focus inward and recognize all the growth and the wisdom and kind of the the person the version of yourself you have stepped into as a result of what has happened with this person so any kind of resentment or difficult feelings can be replaced with this this sort of sense of peace peace with what has happened um, peace with where things stand between you and peace with where um, each of your lives individually if you choose together are headed in the future so I'm going to close this reading out for you, group two, with some initials. This can be first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got F, N, L, E, Y. C, V, A, Q, and U. So those are your messages, group two. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I also sell handmade jewelry and some divination tools in my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
Hi, group three. You chose the Chalcedony along with these cards, which I'll start with to get an idea about if you and your person will cross paths again. Got the King of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Fool, King of Swords, Silence, Gateway, and Gwyneth, the Mother, Nurture, Present. So, with the Hermit here in this card, this is um, obviously the, you know, the theme or the concept of withdrawal, of, of kind of isolation and aloneness, um, kind of the Hermit going, going within that journey into self in order to um, really harvest wisdom to come some, to some kind of truth or, or evolution. Um, in this deck here, this is the Hermit emerging from that cave um, with that kind of illumination, with that wisdom. Um, with this animal companion here, which is often not seen in traditional um, tarot decks, um, in the image of the hermit, it's usually you know a lone figure. But this is really speaking to somebody who has gotten um, in touch with their their core reality, um, who they are. Somebody who has really learned to trust their instincts, um, trust their feelings, trust that kind of um, that desire within themselves, that desire of truth um, and knowing within themselves. Uh, where in the past, this might have been somebody who really kind of um, allowed outside perceptions or the influence of other people and circumstances to be a driving force in their life. Um, this feels like somebody who has undergone some kind of an evolution um, to really trust themselves, to really know themselves, um, to really take charge and control in their life to determine their forward course. This feels like somebody as well um, with kind of this mature energy of both the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, um, that there's a certainty this, th that this person has. Um, if you've been at a distance with them because they were, you know, kind of wishy-washy, they didn't know what they wanted, they were kind of fearful of commitment in the past, um, they might have been very overwhelmed by the connection previously or felt that, you know, they had other things they needed to focus on or do um, before they were ready to commit to love. This feels like somebody who has really come into alignment um, um, there's a certainty, there's a knowing, there's a truth, there's a determination. Um, clarity has been reached. Um, this person has taken control of that clarity, has recognized that epiphany, that awareness, and is now embracing that, um, has incorporated that as, as kind of a, a tool um, and has this desire then to kind of cut through um, sort of that, that distance or that, that energy of, of indecision or negativity. This is somebody who has also cultivated some kind of a, a stability for themselves in the material world with the King of Pentacles. Um, somebody who is comfortable in their skin. Somebody who is, you know, certain of what they want. Um, somebody who has built a life around them that is that is in alignment with their true desires. And as it comes to, you know, love and to this connection, this is somebody who's very focused. Um, who may also, you know, really view you as the type of person that they can, you know, see by their side. Um, somebody that would be um almost uh, encouragement and also challenging um, to help facilitate um, kind of the, the maintenance and the continued acquisition of these material goals. Um, somebody with whom they could build, you know, a very kind of solid life with somebody who would, um, you know, very much be attracted. They can very much be attracted to you on, on kind of these multiple levels, physically and intellectually as well. Um, kind of this etheric and spiritual bond between the both of you, as well as these, these kind of material circumstances. Somebody who has stepped into this energy of, of being ready, ready to take that leap of faith with the fool here, ready to start fresh. Um, some kind of a cycle has come to a completion in this person's life and they're ready to now leap out to take that leap of faith. 
Um, this feels like somebody as well with the silence here, um, that the truth of their heart is now um, kind of crystallized into the words that they want to say, um, followed by kind of this, this inner knowing that they have. There's observation that is going on in the silence. This person is very much aware of you, maybe watching you at a distance, um, kind of right on that precipice of speaking that truth, of bringing that truth out. It's kind of right on the tip of their tongue. Um, somebody who wants to um, kind of act at the right time. Somebody who's really um, taking into account both the kind of the truth of their of their their heart and the truth of um, their mind. Somebody who is also kind of you know weighing the head and the heart um, in, in kind of equal measure in this circumstance. Um, somebody who is again very cognizant of kind of getting it right this time. Um, you know, really wanting to provide you with with some kind of answers, some kind of clarity, some kind of an assurance, some kind of stability in the material world, um, somebody who wants to make sure that the truth that they speak is very concise, is very thorough, somebody who is able to accompany words with action, somebody who is aligned with that, um, who may have kind of reached a place within themselves where they are capable of giving to you in, in that very kind of profound and enriching way. Um, somebody who in the past may have been kind of held back again by fear and decision, but there's this, this courage, this faith, um, this trust that they now have in the direction that their heart is leading them. Um, this feels like somebody who, you know, is, is wanting to actively reach out and make contact with you. Um, with this reference to gateway, again, really kind of waiting for just that right opportunity. Um, you know, maybe just trying to um, either gauge energetically where you are, somebody who is observant of, um, you know, particular things that are going on in your life and is really just, just looking for that space, um, that window of opportunity um, to either, you know, reach out to you. You, maybe online, for example, somebody who um, is planning an opportunity to kind of show up in your material world. Um, maybe some kind of a um, some kind of a gathering that, that they know that you'll be at. That's a little distant in the future, and there's there's plans that they've made to go to that event as well. Uh, maybe this is some kind of a wedding or a celebration, some kind of a reunion of sorts, um, some kind of a festival or a fair or or some kind of a you know a concert, some kind of a kind of a gathering, something maybe out in public, out in nature. Um, and this person really, you know, again, almost with this, this energy of the unicorn and wanting to really surprise you, um, not wanting to make you, to make this known to you that they plan on really emerging, um, not wanting to make this known to you that, you know, they had, they had intentions of attending the same event. Somebody who is, you know, remaining very closed about that, not giving a lot of indications, maybe not talking to a lot of people about this as well. Somebody who, again, has really learned to kind of trust their own inner wisdom, their own inner guidance. Somebody who, you know, is cognizant about kind of... Um, uh, keeping their mouth shut about their intentions so as not to kind of uh, encounter interference that might have been sort of a, an issue before with mother here and nurturing. This is again somebody who is kind of making this plan, making this preparation, um, nurturing this desire within themselves. Somebody who wants to present to you in this energy that feels very safe. Somebody who is able to, you know, match their, follow through on their promises with actions. They're able to match word and deed um, in a very succinct way with this reference to present this is also somebody who you know wants to to really start fresh like with this fool here um, somebody who's not interested in repeating kind of those same cycles you were at in the past this maturity that has happened within this person um, they are finally in this place of being able to be present in this connection to give to this connection in a way that might have been lacking before simply because of you know some kind of quest or journey within themselves that needed to happen um, this feels like something that the distance the separation, um, kind of the closure, the ending that occurred between the both of you with sort of this prelude to the fool um, with the world card, um, which would be the card before this in the major arcana in tarot. 
that idea of endings of conclusions, cycles coming to an end, um, that this is something where, you know, this is this has not been time in vain. These energies of the two kings and the hermit, this is all this energy of, of maturity. Um, somebody who has gotten more deeply in touch with themselves, somebody who is certain about what they want, who is, you know, knows what it takes to get that, has the capacity um, to, to properly nourish that and maintain that once they have that um, in their hands. This could have been somebody who based on the intensity of the connection before or maybe some kind of immaturity some some point they were at in their life um, they didn't feel that they had the means psychic or financial or you know emotional resources to you know maybe even intellectual maybe this is somebody who was you know still in school or, or pursuing this degree this path of study and they didn't have the time or the resources to invest fully in this connection they could have really cut the connection off or through an energy of being kind of distracted, pulled in different directions. That could have really um, led to this conclusion between the both of you in the past. But it feels like something has come to um, kind of this point of finality with this person. Um, you know, somebody, something has really um, reached that pinnacle of maturation. Um, this is somebody who's in a very ripe energy to be able to offer you something of substance, something of value. Um, kind of following in the minor arcana, the King of Pentacles, it would kind of um, turn back over to the Ace of Pentacles, which would be that seed, um, that first little kind of spark that has the potential to grow into something. This is somebody who now has this capability to offer, offer you something of meaning and value, where in the past they may have really been stretched thin in that capacity in a variety of ways following the king of swords in minor arcana would be the ace of swords that card of illumination that card of truth um, somebody who makes that gesture um, who reaches out who makes that contact who makes that statement um, makes that introduction or reintroduction to you um, that provides some kind of a clarity that you know it hasn't been out of sight out of mind that you know maybe after some time has passed this journey within this person they see the truth of this connection now they see the relevance of this connection they're able to cherish this connection um, in a way that they were unable to do previously. And so this definitely, again, feels like somebody who, um, even if they are not like deliberately planning to intersect with you at a future point in time, this feels like somebody who has really cultivated and has learned to trust in their intuition. Um, to learn to trust in and, and recognize signs, subtle signs and synchronicities and guidance. Somebody who is really learning to um, kind of trust in that trail of breadcrumbs that the universe provides for them. Um, somebody who might have been kind of skeptical before or, or kind of resistant is now um, evolved into that space of yield. Somebody who... Um, you know, as the universe provides them with opportunities, with nudges, with synchronicities. This is somebody who is able to recognize these things, trust in these things, and follow these things without focusing on the fears and the what ifs and what could go wrong. This is somebody who has that higher sight, um, who has in some way ascended in their life in a physical way, um, in literal terms, but also spiritually. This is somebody who has gone through this ascension journey, who has reemerged from that kind of dark night of the soul, the journey within, some kind of truth and clarity about who they are, what they want, and what that will take um, to accomplish moving forward. Um, somebody who has recognized as well kind of the spiritual component of this connection. Somebody who is almost answering that call of their heart back in your direction. Um, somebody who sees you in kind of the the unique dynamic that exists between the both of you and even the opportunity to have intersected in this lifetime is something very magical, very unique, something very rare. Um, almost uh, this energy of maybe them thinking that this was too good to be true in the past. Um, they're recognizing instead that, um, you know, this widened perspective has happened to where they have started to understand love and to trust in love beyond kind of the parameters of what they've known it to be previously. This is somebody who is um, starting to believe in the magic of love again. Somebody who has started to um, kind of put their faith and trust um, in wondrous things happening. Um, somebody who has really battled through successfully a lot of fears within themselves come into that place of certainty with this reference to silence, kind of this, this inner knowing, this inner peace, with this idea, this image here of, well, I think it's probably an emu, but it, it can also look like, um, like an ostrich um, to me. And so with this idea of kind of the ostrich, um, you know, burying their head in the sand for periods of time, 
And, you know, again, that kind of that journey within that this person has done where they may have been kind of withdrawn from the connection, kind of pulled away, needing to go on that quest within themselves. This is this energy of having emerged and ready to take off. Ostriches being, you know, very fast, um, running very quickly, progressing at a rapid rate. Um, this is somebody who's come out of that sand. They've, they've lifted their head. They see now. They're focused in now. Um, they're very acutely aware of what they want in terms of a future with you. And they're kind of right at this point. I'm getting almost this image of um, kind of like runners in a marathon where they're, you know, they're stretched, they're ready. They're just, um, they're just right at that, at that brink, just very, you know, tense in their, in their momentum, ready to just, you know, when the um, kind of the sound, the bell happens and it's, and the race begins and then they shoot off, they project off at a very rapid pace. This person feels like they are kind of crouched right at that very tension moment of getting ready to leap, waiting for that sign, waiting for that nudge, waiting for that, you know, that event or that, that circumstance maybe that they know you'll be at, that time to come somebody who's not, you know, actively and kind of obsessively counting down the hours or, or really worrying, but somebody who's trusting that at the right time, um, the sign will reveal itself to them. They will, they will know, they will just, they will instinctively know somebody who's following that instinct, trusting that instinct and is ready within themselves, has come to this place of preparedness within themselves mentally, um, psychically, physically, um, their world, their their mind, what they want, um, all these things being very much in alignment and they are right at that point of um, reaching out, of projecting themselves forward, of jumping timelines from wherever you have left things with this person, kind of this energy of endings and conclusions. This is that person who's ready to, you know, at a moment's notice, they're, they're right there, they're waiting for that, that sign, that nudge, that, you know, just that feeling comes in, they wake up one day and they know this is the day, they're ready to take that step, to take that leap. They have come to the edge, they have come up to this point where they, you know, their heart is ready. Um, and so you may be hearing from this person very immediately, very suddenly, it might almost be like magic very surprising that you that they reach out to you that you that you hear from them that you encounter this person again that they show up in your reality um, they may seem almost very much out of place in the circumstances it might be a very mundane circumstance and you know there this person is all of a sudden the face coming out of the crowd or you know a guest at some kind of a function you didn't know that they were going to be at um, but it's something where this is going to be a person who displays an energy of wisdom, an energy of maturation. Um, as you're talking to this person more, you're, you're getting to, you know, kind of discuss just very surface matters. You're going to recognize um, kind of a shift within this person. There's a calmness to this person, a groundedness to this person, um, a certainty to this person. And even in the ways in which they are leading their life, which may have been very different um, from who you were dealing with previously. This is somebody who is wiser. Um, who has in some way kind of stepped into their own in some capacity, whether internally or also in terms of what they have going on in their life. So there's a lot of promise here, if this is something you're open to, um, of a new beginning, somebody, somebody who is ready to again follow through on their promises, somebody who has something of substance to offer, um, the growth that they have done within themselves, the ascension they have done in, within themselves. This is somebody who is able to um, meet you as that higher version of themselves, somebody who has done that personal work within themselves um, and is now at a place of really being ready um, to kind of meet you on that equal footing so that the relationship can progress um, into uh, kind of a different circumstance than you might have been in. Um, kind of a new adventure, a new beginning with this person. If this was somebody even that, you know, this is almost the energy of a false start um, to where, uh, you know, it's other things were holding them back or, you know, there was a little bit of indecision. Um, this is definitely the energy of um, kind of getting a do over or now being the, the time is right for this. Uh, the conditions are ripe within this person and within you um, to really nurture this connection, um, to really help to grow this connection connection into something very beautiful and very wonderful that can help you almost, um, both of you gain some perspective about why it didn't work between the two of you in the past. This period of separation, of silence, of disconnect was very necessary. This journey within self was very necessary. These things, um, this knowledge of self, this level of, you know, being very tapped into your higher selves, your instinct, your authenticity 
activating even some psychic gifts within yourself, honing these things, um, shaping your world to be in very much in alignment with your truth and your authenticity of, of what you value and what you want for yourself. Um, that these things, these steps internally wouldn't have been possible if things had worked out romantically with you in the past. Um, and so there's a sense of perspective that's being offered by this where the journey is starting to make sense. The separation makes sense because you're both witnessing and experiencing kind of the product of that, the development that has happened as a result of that in the two of you, which then um, opens up the possibility, the gateway um, for a different kind of future than you may have been able to experience previously. It's almost like a sense of limitedness in the past now giving way to um, this unlimited potential between the both of you, um, where dreams can really come true in this circumstance. Um, this is something where, you know, you both are, have learned to really value and cherish this very unique parts of yourself and are able to then um, in a deeper way value and cherish support nurture and honor those those very unique parts within each other and the unique nature um, of this connection in general that might just not have been possible or not part of your your individual and and kind of um, dual perspective in the past so I'm gonna get some messages from this person's higher self for you now group three what do they want to say Okay, and they say, I left when I saw you with somebody. So this doesn't necessarily have to be literal. This could be almost like this fear, this indecision um, this person may have had in the past. Um, almost a fear of really trusting in their heart, trusting in the intensity and the nature of this connection. Um, sort of this fear of investing fully in this um, out of kind of that, that nagging voice from within that said, what if things don't work out? What if this is a connection that proves to be too good to be true? Where will you be then? Um, and so kind of that fear might have been something that caused this person to retreat from, to retract from you in the past, but it is something which, um, you know, through this mature energy of the two kings and the hermit, this is, um, this is an aspect of this person's, um, kind of their self, their core. Um, it's an aspect of their shadow self, of their shadow side that they have really um, come to know on a deep and intimate level and in some way have achieved some kind of mastery over, willing to take that chance regardless of the potential um, kind of downfall of the relationship in the future. This is somebody who's instead choosing to focus on what can go right versus what could potentially go wrong. And they also say, I will wait for a sign from you. So that was coming through this person waiting for a sign, maybe not necessarily from you, although if they're watching on social media um, and they're just not sure about what's going on in your life, maybe they're, they're waiting for that indication that, you know, you're open to love, you're available to love, and then they're able to kind of spring forth and make their move towards you. This can also really talk about that sign, that nudge that they're waiting from, from the universe um, that may come in the form of a dream or even just an overwhelming sensation that it's go time. Um, it's time to uh, kind of move out of that tension space, that readiness, that, you know, just poised right at the edge and it's ready to come forth and take action. And they also say, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this is talking about kind of unresolved shadows that both of you had within yourselves um, that, you know, previously when you were really dealing with each other, you might have been coming out of an energy of distortion, um, kind of ignoring some some kind of voids or deficits within each other and really projecting onto one another. This idea that, you know, um, that you were somehow incomplete and the other person would be necessary for that feeling of completion um, or a sense of you know, this other person, um, and this can definitely be vice versa energy, um, that, you know, this other person being able to fix what was wrong or, or being that answer, being that, you know, that thing that you needed or that, you know, them feeling and being a little overwhelmed by the sensation of, you know, you were what are, is needed in their life in order to, you know, feel good about themselves or to, to kind of reach this, this feeling of completion and, and this feeling of abundance within themselves. Um, but this is something that you both have individually worked through this 
this is something this person is needed to work through, um, to learn to embrace those those kind of wounds within themselves, um, to learn to self self soothe, self heal, um, to recognize that you know they are whole and complete as they are, and somebody who has really started to. Um, reprioritize the way in which they are looking at love not as something that you know completes them but something that adds to the measure of completeness that they already are um, so this is somebody who again with that maturity of the of the kings has come to this wholeness within themselves is comfortable in their skin knows who they are is confident in that recognizes the light and shadow aspects of themselves the power to create the power to destroy and has created this um, kind of this even balance between these things um, somebody who is a dynamic force of change in their own life and is now able and at this point to be able to meet you um, at a level of wholeness um, so that again you two can add to that measure of abundance for one another but that you are no longer dependent on one another to kind of fill any deficits or voids within each other. So I'm going to get a few more messages from this person's higher self, group three. Okay, and they say Phoenix rising. So this is again that energy of ascension, um, some deep shadow work that has been done, a new version of this person that has kind of risen forth out of um, the version that you were last dealing with. This feels very much like energy in tandem, the two of you really having experienced um, some major glow ups in your life in a variety of ways. Um, this is somebody who wants to resurrect this connection, to bring this connection out from kind of the, um, the bridge that was burned in the past, um, kind of the rubble of what existed between you in the, in the past, this energy of closure, this energy of um, kind of finality. And, you know, like the fool is ready to take that, that leap of faith, faith that fresh step, somebody who is in their, in their own power, um, who knows themselves, who, who recognizes themselves as a force of dynamic change in their own life, who is not looking for someone to fill voids within them, um, but is looking for that, um, that kind of equal companion, that reciprocal companion. Um, a relationship in a situation, somebody who's looking for this and is able to um, really maintain that, that energy of reciprocity where you both are challenging and encouraging each other um, to continue progressing toward you know, the, the perpetual evolution of that best version of self, um, constantly taking inventory of self, questioning oneself, recognizing you know, places of stagnancy and seeking to um, kind of bring momentum into these, into these parts of self. So this is somebody who is, um, you know, stepped into this energy where they are able to meet you on a different level than they did before. Um, and this opens again, this gateway to um, kind of a higher vibration of love and, and connectedness than you had the potential to experience with each other previously. And they also say we connect in the astral. So you could be dreaming about this person a lot, feeling them energetically around you. Um, you're definitely heavily on their mind. They're thinking about you. They're, they're just, they're waiting for that sign, for that inclination. They've come to this certainty um, that you are who they want by their side. They want to renew this. They want to regenerate this connection. Um, and so just kind of as a byproduct of all that kind of thought energy, you might be perceiving them energetically. Um, or for some of you, they are deliberately kind of trying to, to send you these thoughts, trying to engage in telepathy with you, send you that loving vibration as kind of a prelude, as an introduction um, to kind of bring you into that awareness of their intention prior to kind of the 3D self following through with that. And they also say time for rest, self-care, rejuvenation, and retreat. So this feels like the energy that they have been in, that they are ready to emerge from. This is somebody who also um, is very cognizant of these periods, somebody who, you know, is, is very much aware of their own needs for um, kind of this equal give and take, times to invest in the connection, in the outside world, in others, and then the need to really take time to invest in oneself. Um, somebody who is able to follow through on the promises that they make because they make time to honor promises that they have uh, made to themselves as well. 
So this is somebody who, you know, is very much, again, this energy of kind of this nurturing, somebody who has been nurturing themselves and has now stepped into this place where they are willing um, and able to uh, nurture the connection with you in a way that wasn't possible before, that they, they weren't aware um, was even an option before. So I'm going to get some guidance from Spirit for you now, group three, about this situation. Okay, and we have the spiral. So this is again an energy of um, kind of cycles and this is really this confirmation of this person coming back around um, into your existence, that the two of you have been engaged in kind of this deep shadow work, this deep work of getting to know oneself. That core truth that has been extracted is now able to emanate out in a changed reality between the both of you. Um, this can also talk about um, kind of this idea of ascension of the connection and can be a confirmation of an ascension journey or even a a twin flame journey that you are on with this person. The circumstances that have occurred between the both of you also up to this point um, really being that fuel that was necessary for that journey within so that you could really um, kind of unearth that best version of self and bring that out. Um, confirmation as well that you know the changes that this person has made within them these will be very evident um, in their material circumstances as well in their energy as well um, this is also kind of a, a suggestion to um, you know when this person re-emerges to really trust that core of truth trust what you are feeling um, and and kind of work your way through any layers of fear that might kind of creep up that are discouraging you from trusting in this from taking a leap of faith um, from hearing this out or exploring kind of the deeper layers with this person um, with all these kind of chambers here in this image of the nautilus um, this is also really talking about you know taking things slowly step by step no need to rush quickly um, into that kind of um, end goal for the two of you but you know as this person may just very suddenly reappear um, you are again being kind of encouraged to, you know, take things slowly because you are going to have to reacquaint yourselves with each other. You have both under, undergone some dramatic and profound changes and you're not the same people that you were when you were last dealing with each other. Um, so time is definitely on your side in this circumstance. In some way you are energetically aligned. Um, and this really speaks to kind of a new level of adventure between the both of you, kind of coming out of this period of silence as well as um, kind of a blossoming of the new layer of the relationship of the connection, kind of the next level of this journey. And I'm going to get one more card for some guidance from Spirit for you, group three. Okay, and we have the Star Mother loved. The Universal Mother loves and supports me totally. So that's the second reference to mother that we have in this reading. So this is again talking about this person, um, you know, the promises that they are making, they are able to follow through on these things. This is somebody who's come to this place within themselves where they are able to, they've learned to nurture themselves. They've learned to self-soothe, to heal. There's been some healing that has taken place within them. This is somebody who's been on this self-love journey um, in their own kind of way, in their own expression, but very much in tandem to the journey that you have been on. Um, and this is just guidance to continue to nurture yourself, continue to, you know, recognize fears that you have, deficits that you feel within yourself, provide that sense of completion and wholeness um, so that when the when your paths cross again, you are two people who are very capable of self-sustaining in that emotional way. You're not leaning too much on one another um, for that kind of validation or looking to each other to, you know, be almost that savior, that solution. Um, but that you're two people who are really able to um, kind of honor and recognize your needs and your boundaries and your desires and your wants. You're able to provide fulfillment for these things um, or soothing for these things to a certain degree. Um, and that when the two of you then come together, you're two people who are actively engaged in that process, which just helps to kind of magnify and, and create a wider sort of scope and bubble of this very um, protected and, and sort of sacred energy. This is somebody who has um, really learned to honor themselves and is now in this position where they are able to honor you and honor this connection in a very new and beautiful way. So I'm going to close this reading for you. Group three with some initials. This could be first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got K. 
H W N B V C L U S and P. So those are your messages group three. I hope they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I also sell handmade jewelry and some divination tools in my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.